Welcome once again to Lato's Law. Here's Steve Lato. Got an interesting story passed along to me by George that he spotted on the BBC.com. And it's one of those headlines that does catch your attention. Uh, it did not happen here in the United States, but <laughs> this one is a strange one. Cancer patient set on fire during operation in Romania. So obviously things might be a little different in Romania, both legally and medically. But uh, this one, like I said... Um, is a crazy case. Hospital patient has died after being set on fire during surgery in Romania. Uh, surgeons at Floresca Hospital in Bucharest used an alcohol-based disinfectant on the woman who is 66 years old before operating on her for pancreatic cancer. This is just a few days ago, a few days before Christmas uh, this year. So they then used an electric scalpel, which as it came into contact with the alcohol, started a fire. Problem, of course, is that the alcohol was on the woman's body, the woman was on the operating table, and they caught her on fire. So she suffered burns over 40% of her body, and she died in the hospital just a few days later. So this is a crazy story. The police in Romania are investigating the death, according to local media, And the family of the woman who passed away told Romanian media that they had not been told about how serious the situation was when it happened, only they just said they'd been told that there had been an accident. And that's one of those things, anytime you hear about something crazy like this happening, is you watch how the people involved describe it in the aftermath. And when they are not forthcoming with the facts, uh, one argument is often made that they do that because they know they did something wrong, which is, of course, a problem. Um, family members said, we found out some details from the press when it was broadcast on television. We weren't making accusations. We just want to understand what happened. The uh, Minister for Health in Romania, Victor Kostash, has promised to investigate the traumatic incident. We hope to learn from this troubling episode, he said. Both myself and the Ministry of Health team that I coordinate will do everything possible to find out the truth. So the government's looking into it. Now, the deputy minister, whose name is Horatio Moldovan, added, the surgeons should have been aware that it is prohibited to use an alcohol-based disinfectant during a surgical procedure performed with an electric scalpel. So um, the BBC points out that Romania spends the least on health care of any EU country, uh, depending on whether you count it by resident or as a percentage of its GDP, doesn't matter. They're at the bottom in both categories. It also has the highest child mortality rates on the continent, along with an underdeveloped hospital infrastructure and a persistent shortage of medical staff. And it does make you wonder what the laws are in Romania regarding medical malpractice. Uh, So I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, and of course, if the story gets updated, I'll pass it along to you. Uh, but what's weird about this is, is uh, George, when he passed along, he said, you know, you don't see this story headline every day. And he's, he's, he's correct on that. Cancer patient set on fire during operation uh, in Romania. But I've heard of really crazy things happening in American operating rooms uh, and hospitals. Uh, and not the least of which is I've heard of fires. Uh, because you might know that some medical procedures often involve them Uh, using oxygen that is at a higher grade than the oxygen that we breathe as we walk about in our daily lives. And oxygen itself is both flammable and inflammable, as Nick Riviera would point out to you, uh, which is what makes us such a great country. Um, (laughs) And if you don't know, that's a Simpsons reference. I'm sorry. But um, uh, I've heard of stories of fires breaking out in uh, intensive care units and, and I believe even operating rooms, simply because of the fact that they're using extremely high-grade oxygen and something sparks a fire. Uh, but this is a crazy one where you have a flammable um, disinfectant being used near uh, power tools, in essence. Uh, so uh, it's crazy. I'm not exactly sure what an electric scalpel is. Uh, I don't know if that means that the uh, scalpel has some kind of cutting device that's electrically powered or if there's electricity going to the scalpel for some other reason. I don't know. I admit total ignorance when it comes to modern surgical techniques and tools. Uh, I've not had much surgery done on me in my life. Uh, many, many years ago, I had surgery done when I broke this bone mountain biking. I did an entire video on that. <laughs> and I will tell you, 
that because of the way they managed to do the anesthesia, I was awake and conscious during the operation, and I watched it. I watched it, and at one point in time, I swear to whatever person you swear to, or entity or deity, that at one point, the man pulled out a thing that looked like a power drill. Now, I understand it wasn't something you know you got at Home Depot or Lowe's. Uh, it's probably a surgical grade Black & Decker. <laughs> but he had to drill holes to put pins through. Uh, and, and what's funny is I remember turning to the anesthesiologist who's sitting on the other side of me and talking to him during the surgery. And he, he actually said, he made a comment to me about my heart rate. And, he, and he's watching all kinds of monitors like they do. And he goes, yeah, he goes, I'm kind of surprised. And go, why is that? And he goes, because you just looked at the man, up, you know, the, the surgeon operating on your hand and, you, and you're talking to me. And he goes, and I didn't see your heart rate spike. And I go, should it have spiked? And he goes, well, he goes, most people, when they look over and see somebody drilling holes in their arm, <laughs> cause a little spikes in their heart rate. And I'm, I'm kind of like, you know, what can I tell you? And yes, that was my phone going off. I apologize. I'm a professional. I'm a professional. What can I tell you? So, um. That's my only experience, I think, as an adult getting surgery. I'm trying to think. I think that's it, though. Uh, and that was a good number of years ago, probably 15 or so. I don't know. It's been a while. I have to go back and watch my own video to see what I said then, <laughs> which does raise an interesting point. I've had people watch one of my videos I shot five years ago and then watch a video I did more recently and go, hey, Steve, five years ago you said this. Now you said this. And the story's changed slightly. Were you lying then or are you lying now? And, and I will admit that, that sometimes when I'm being very, very specific and I actually make a point to go back and double check facts, I'm a little more specifically accurate than I might be later. And sometimes I'm just telling a story and I'm not really, you know, so, uh, you know, but I'm, I'm, I've gone far afield. I know people don't like that. They often grouse about that. So the cancer patient who set on fire during the operation in Romania, uh, it's a crazy story. Uh, they are, you know, investigating that criminally on the one hand. And then, like I said, I don't know what kind of legal system they have for civil actions or whether you can even sue somebody for medical malpractice over there. I don't know. But I would suspect in America, you might see a lawsuit from that. You might. So there you go. So uh, that's the story. George, thanks for passing along from the BBC.com. Questions or comments, please put them below. Otherwise, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching Lato's Law. We are who we choose to be.